During these unknown hard times, may we look for the opportunity and learn to play and dance in the rain. We can make it through. We have the power to choose our reaction and may we choose thankfulness and love and kindness. May we choose to pick up our heels and move to the rhythm. Hello, wonderful people. My name is Sarah Gagnon. I am from Kelowna, BC, Canada. I'm a visual artist. I create realism landscapes and cute, heartwarming illustrations. I've been painting for 23 years, and during this video, you'll learn more about me, my work, process, and the foundation of all of that I do is to bring more hope and life, kindness and goodness and thankfulness, and the knowledge that you are absolutely extraordinary. Enjoy. This next piece is really special to me because I'm on a journey of self-discovery and self-acceptance. I'm learning to love myself. I'm learning to accept myself. I'm learning to take things one step at a time and yeah, accept my weaknesses and my strengths. The longer I go on this journey, the more, more delighted I am with the unique, quirky, imperfect person that I am. So enjoy. This is an illustration called You Shine. When you see yourself, may you smile and see a friend. May you celebrate your victories. May you be kind to yourself, loaning yourself your strength instead of reminding yourself of your weaknesses. One moment at a time, we can change. We can learn to be our biggest support. You got this. I believe in you. So I was born in Kelowna, BC, Canada, to a big, creative, hardworking family. The only daughter was six brothers, They're wonderful brothers and wonderful parents. I was so blessed. They encouraged me so much in the art and did everything they could to encourage me and help me along the journey. I was very creative as a child, but I didn't start painting until I was around 12. That's when a parent came to our school and did like a step-by-step -step painting with our group and I loved it and I was like, well, I want more. And so I came home and my parents got me some paint and my dad's a carpenter so he'd bring home pieces of wood and I'd have all these paintings on pieces of wood and I'd, I have boxes and boxes and boxes of paintings. I just did it tons. I also painted rocks and greeting cards. My teenagehood was a mixture of entrepreneurship and trying to find different ways to sell my work. It was great. Uh, when I graduated, I looked into university and looked at all the different options and what I could tell university taught more like uh, a whole bunch of different mediums and different types of art and I thought that's great, but I know what I want to learn. I want to learn realism. I want to learn to be able to paint and draw as accurately as I want to. So I was like, okay, let's do it. So I taught myself and I took tons of books onto the library and took tons of courses online, also took lots of in-person courses, like I did one on portraits and landscape, life drawing, um, pastels, a whole bunch of different things, just like a sponge learning as much as I could. When I was 19, I started teaching art lessons to friends, and then I got on as a contract instructor for the city of Kelowna, and I've been teaching with them since then, uh, watercolor and drawing. It's great. I love teaching as well. It's just so fun. In my mid-twenties, I started doing art full-time and it's been amazing. Yeah, it's been ups and downs and all kinds of things, but it's been so good. This next painting coming up is one of my favorites because it taught me about the realm of possibilities. It taught me about the journey and how important it is and how much fun it is. It taught me about just letting go and fiercely playing fiercely, courageously trying new things and giving myself permission to fail. It taught me to thoroughly enjoy the process and let the outcome be secondary. Painting this piece was a magical experience. It took me in full force. I was captivated by it and could not stop until it was finished. I loved it from the moment I started it. It came alive under my brush. It fills me with so much wonderful thrill whenever I see it.
those times when the penny drops and you finally understand. The great insight sinks in. These are some of my favorite moments. These are the moments I feel most alive. May you dig. May you be curious. May you seek new perspectives and insight. May you have those aha moments and be filled with inspiration, hope, and joy. During the first four years of my painting, I didn't draw at all. It was too hard and I didn't know how to do it and painting was just so much more satisfying. So I just painted and I was limited to only flowers and landscapes. And when I started to realize that, and I was like, oh, like there's other things I really want to do, but I can't because I can't draw. And then I was like, okay, maybe this is important. And so I started putting time and effort towards it. And the more effort I put into it, I'm like, whoa, this is foundational. Whoa, this is foundational. Whoa. Like every year since then, I was like, man, drawing is everything. Drawing is the biggest, most important thing you can do in the arts. And it's just like, so I drew lots. I have boxes and boxes full of sketchbooks. I would draw from pictures and drawing what I see because I learned that when you can draw what you see, then you can intentionally change what you see. And that's where creativity comes in. And that's where it's like, oh, and you start mixing a bunch of different ideas together and it's magical. Uh, at, during this drawing time, I did dabble in illustrations, but I didn't do very much of it. In 2018, I got an iPad and then I started to learn about Procreate, the drawing app, and it is the best. It was like going to a mansion and saying, here's a mansion, it's yours. And there's all these rooms in it to explore. And it's just like this infinite possibilities of rooms to go, what's in this room? How do I use this stuff? What's here? Whoa, like there's just so many possibilities. I still think that about Procreate, not quite as magical as at the beginning, but it's, it's still like, it's just so vast, the amount of opportunities it opens up. So I spent a couple years learning Procreate and dabbling around with it and playing, but it wasn't until COVID-220 that I really started learning. I was stuck at home for two months and I was like, well, let's give this a try. So I took tons of courses on Procreate and how to use it. It's almost like how to explore this mansion, uh, courses on lighting and courses on, on the process and the journey. I did it something called the Smile Initiative where it was like 30 days of prompts and then I would draw something every day and, and a lot of other people were doing it too just to liven people up during COVID but it also like it got me just doing tons it was that was really the part of like where it really took off so since 2020 it's been getting bigger and bigger this year it's bigger than ever it seems like it's just growing really fast with the illustrations and, and so many people are touched and blessed by it and i'm so thankful and i'm so stoked so the process of creating my digital pieces starts with lots of drawing drawing tons of practice and drawing from pictures, usually a lot of animals and a lot of children. And then what I'll do is the ideals will just start flowing and I'll start mixing and matching and taking pieces from a bunch of different um, elements. I'll take a pose from a kid and a shape of an animal and I'll put them together and lay the foundation for my drawing. After that, I refine and refine and develop the drawing. It can often take weeks. The drawing's got to look good and be pleased with it before I start the painting process. And then when I paint, I usually uh, work on between 10 and two paintings at a time. And I'll work on them for at least a couple months, refining and refining and refining and making small incremental changes and, you know, going through all of them at different times and just trying tons of different things, being curious and playing and experimenting. And when I look at it and I get a thrill and I'm like, oh, and there's nothing big that rubs me the wrong way, then I'm like, ah, oh, it's finished. One of my biggest hopes and values is to bring more perspective, more peace, more joy, more kindness and love and thankfulness to the world. It's almost like going, oh, taking the burden off, you know, that moment. Mm -hmm. 
I'm a Christian, and I follow the Prince of Peace, the author of goodness and majesty and love and beauty. Oh, the more I know him, the more I want to be like him. His, his love never fails. He's always with me, and he's always so good. Oh, Jesus, help me see that I'm fully enough. I don't have to measure up. It's not about what I do to like become something. I am something, and so are you. You are chosen and extraordinary. You're a treasure, you're a masterpiece. It's learning step by step to live out of that place, to love out of that place, to choose that. Mm. I think of art and learning art, similar to learning another language. You're, you're learning, okay, how do I mix paint? How do I put it together? How do I uh, put it on paper? How do I portray that look? And, you know, like, you can't... When, you, when you're learning art, it's not whether or not you have it or you don't. It, it's the motor skills in learning it. And then it was the, the aspect of, okay, once I learn the language, what am I going to say? And then learning all the mind frame behind it and going like, whoa, like learning the techniques and practice, practice, practice is only half of it. The other half is, what do I have to say? And how do I show up and dare to be seen? And learning about creativity and learning about letting go of fear of failure, learning about the mind frame behind it, learning about play, learning about curiosity, learning about wonder, learning about being mindful and like what's going on inside and, and how do I express that? in this medium of this language that speaks a thousand words. It's beautiful. And so for me, the mind frame stuff has been like even close to 50% of, of the learning process. Going like, I, I want to learn this. I want to get good at this. And so that's why with my work, I'm very intentional. I put quotes beside things and like the mind frame and the freedom that comes with it is just as important as the actual work. And I, and I know that like a picture speaks a thousand words. And so I know that so much hope and life can come out of that. When I'm not painting, you'll find me running around in the forest and the lake. They're my happy places. They fill me with thrill and delight. I feast my eyes on the beauty before me, the light through the trees, the colors, the values of the clouds. Oh. They simply take my breath away. I also play a lot of sports. My weekly team sports at present are ice hockey, ball hockey, and water polo. I also really love to bike. It's like flying low. I love to run and swim and climb and hike. Well-being is big. Meditating and being aware of what is going on in my head and living in the moment, taking care of myself physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, eating well, exercising regularly, that way, I can live and love and give everything I have to the fullest. Mm, it's huge. It's something I'm super passionate about and I want for others too. If through my life and story and journey, I can inspire even just a little bit and bring someone just a little bit more life or bring a smile to their face, then that's my dream come true. Hmm. May we take care of ourselves. Take one step at a time further towards a healthy, balanced life. We are learning and growing, and we can do it. May you be blessed. May you be blessed to know that you are enough, that you are treasured, that you are valuable, that you are chosen, oh, oh, that you make such a huge impact. You have and will continue to do great things. May you be blessed as you walk forward in your logical and your creative endeavors. May you be blessed in your comings and your goings. May you see that there are so many more possibilities than you can possibly imagine. Whoa. May you play with abandon and curiosity and wonder. I believe in you. You have what it takes to soar on eagle's wings. You are amazing. You got this. <laughs>